The sodium-potassium pump diligently regulates intracellular ion concentrations, sustaining a low level of sodium ions and a high level of potassium ions within the cytosol. This meticulous control is vital for maintaining optimal cell volume and enabling the generation of essential electrical signals in excitable cells. The primary active transport through the sodium-potassium pump occurs in the following stages. The sodium-potassium pump binds three sodium ions from within the cytosol. ATP will then attach to the pump's ATPase region and undergo hydrolysis, resulting in the formation of adenosine diphosphate and a phosphate group. This phosphate group remains attached to the pump, causing its phosphorylation. Phosphorylation will then induce a change in the pump's shape, leading to the release of sodium ions into the extracellular fluid, followed by the binding of two potassium ions to the pump. The release of the phosphate group from the pump facilitates its return to its original shape, leading to the release of potassium ions into the cytosol. This allows the pump to resume its initial state, ready to undergo the process again.